Good evening and welcome to episode 12 of Carter Shed. So we're finally getting round to using the jig that we made in the hashtag woodjigs21 challenge. But before we pull the jig out, I'm just getting some timber cut down to size. So we've got the squares that you've already seen and we've got this old bedding slats, I think it was. So just getting them cut down to size. So we've made the jig so we can batch out a few of... Oh, still got some more wood to get cut down to size. These nice thin strips along with some copper pipe. This is 15 millimeter copper pipe. We just get these bits cut down to the correct length before we can start putting everything together. Okay, Mr. Jig, you have made your appearance. So we can load up the jig with the old bed slats that we've cut down, get the router fitted in, and we can then cut our v-groove into the center of the bed slat. Pull it out, then we're going to flip it over in the jig and we're going to use those holes on the jig to drill a couple of locating holes. So that'll be a 15mm Fosner bit to accept the 15mm copper pipe. Fish bash wash, pull it out, finish off the holes. I've just got a small round over bit fitted into the router and we'll go around the top and bottom of this piece of wood. So I've made a couple of these pre-jig and when I made them, I used a pyrography, pyrograph pen. I can't remember which one it is now. Pyrography, pyrograph. I used that pen to write the days and do the numbers on the blocks. But now that I've got the laser, I can use it to engrave the, the blocks, the days of the weeks, and put a nice inscription on the base as well. Now the laser's not as quick but it is going to do a hell of a lot better job than my janky handwriting. So before I assemble it, I just take the opportunity to put the finish on it now as it's a bit easier than once it's all together. I do have another job to do before I can put it together though. I need to make some hooks to hold the days of the weeks onto the crossbar, I'll call it, the copper pipe, which is going to look like a crossbar. So I've got these eyes, but I can just open up a couple of them to make the hooks and have the eyes on all of the days of the week. Now these eyes are really, really small. It would need about a one millimeter hole. I do have a one millimeter drill bit, but it doesn't fit into the chuck of any of my drills. So instead, just use the ice pick to punch in a couple of holes into the copper pipe. Then we can thread the eyes, or the hooks that I made out of the eyes, into it. It is secured with a little bit of glue in there as well to stop it moving. And I've got a little mini jig with a couple of marks that I can use just to punch some holes into the days of the week and then thread in the eyes into it. So now that all the eyes are attached to the days of the week, we can glue the copper goalpost together and secure it to the base. Then we can call this one done. Thanks for watching and good evening.